was a war fought in Southeast Asia in the 1960s and 70s. It was between the communist North Vietnam and the US-backed South Vietnam. The map shows the two countries involved in the war. In the north, we have North Vietnam, which was communist, and in the south, we have South Vietnam, which was capitalist and backed by the Americans. You can also see the neighbouring countries of Laos, Thailand and Cambodia. Vietnam was originally a French colony. It was known as French Indochina. There had been a war fought between France and Vietnam and as a result the country had become divided with Ho Chi Minh, shown in the picture here, leading the north and the south being uh, led by a capitalist government. The war was fought between the Americans and the National Liberation Front or the LNF. The image here shows an example of American troops. You can also see the helicopter in the background, which was a prominent feature of the Vietnam War. This picture shows the NLF or National Liberation Front. So to recap, in the war it was the American Army versus the National Liberation Front or the Vietnamese. The American Army used several tactics during the war. The first was chemical bombs. The Americans dropped chemical bombs to destroy trees. The result was defoliation and the trees were stripped of their leaves. This allowed the US helicopters to spot the enemy more easily. Napalm was also used in firebombs and flamethrowers. It was a thick liquid which usually contained petrol. It cleared the undergrowth but it also stuck to human beings and burned their flesh. Tactic number two was strategic hamlets. The aim was to cut off links between the NLF and the South Vietnamese peasants. The US troops took the peasants out of their own villages and put them into strategic hamlets. These were areas surrounded by barbed wire and controlled by the American. About 40% of the population was treated this way. This made the Vietnamese hate the Americans even more. The third tactic of the Americans was bombing raids. The aim? To bomb strategic targets as part of a high-tech war. The Americans knew that the NLF was being supplied by North Vietnam. To stop this, certain places in North Vietnam were targeted by American bombers. This included army bases, factories, railways and bridges. Unfortunately, the bombs could miss their targets, instead hitting schools and hospitals. This caused the deaths of many women and children. The bombing campaign was part of Operation Rolling Thunder, which took place from 1965 to 68. By 1966, US planes were flying an average of 164 missions a day. It is estimated that the Americans dropped more bombs on Vietnam than they did during the whole of the Second World War. The final tactic used by the Americans was called search and destroy. American troops would go out on patrol looking for Charlie. Charlie is what they called the NLF fighters. The patrols were very visible and easy to ambush. This often led to villages being burnt and massacres such as the Mai Lai Massacre in 1968. The National Liberation Front also had a variety of tactics they could use to try and defeat the Americans. Their main tactic was called guerrilla warfare. This was different from traditional fighting because after an attack, the NLF faded away into the jungle. Here you can see the types of jungle conditions that the NLF and the American troops were fighting in. It would be very easy for an American patrol to be ambushed and for the NLF fighters to simply blend away back into the jungle. The NLF would also use a series of traps in the jungle. For example, the one shown in the picture here shows that when the American soldiers stepped on the gr ground above the trap, they would fall onto the spikes below. This would not necessarily kill the soldier, but it would injure him so that he would have to be evacuated. This would use up time and resources and make the American army vulnerable to further ambush. As is shown in the map, the NLF also used the Ho Chi Minh Trail. 
The Ho Chi Minh Trail was a supply route through the jungle of Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. The NLF stayed close to the Americans so that they could not be bombed without the US killing their own men. The fact that the NLF could be anywhere had a psychological impact on American troops. The danger of attack was always there, which led to paranoia and increasingly harsh treatment of Vietnamese civilians. Search and destroy missions, where body count was most important, led to the deaths of old men, women and children. The National Liberation Front also had a system of tunnels which stretched 200 miles underneath South Vietnam. They could launch hit-and-run raids from one tunnel 20 miles from Saigon. They included an underground hospital with very basic medical equipment. So what were the results of the Vietnam War? 400,000 South Vietnamese civilians died. Nobody knows how many North Vietnamese civilians died in the bombing raids. Devastation to the Vietnamese countryside due to chemicals. 1 million communist soldiers died. 50,000 U.S. service personnel died, 160,000 soldiers were injured and 180,000 South Vietnamese soldiers died. Damage was done to the Vietnamese way of life. For example, towns in South Vietnam were hit by drugs.